Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone and when you're watching this video. Hi! Today I'm going to be doing a yarn review. It's Michelle from Crafts Me and More. I am going to be changing my YouTube channel from Crafty Money Girl, but there'll be an update video just for that. So yeah, we're doing this. I got this yarn in the giveaway that I won from Crystal at Bag o Day, Crochet and More. Um, it's my brand's landscapes. Um, it's a self-striping landscape yarn that creates beautiful saturated bands of colour similar to the horizon sunset that you can see when you see the sun going down. Landscape yarn is a pre this is a premium acrylic single plied roving yarn. That's why it's like a little bit fluffy. As you can, actually let me find the end. There we go. Uh, as you can see here, it's a little bit fluffy. Um, it's a, it has a satin feel, I would say, like it's really soft, silky in this palette. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it is a beautiful, um, stunning garments and accessories. I made this hat. It's the Galaxy Blue hat. Um, yeah, so I, and a scarf. I'll go into details of those very, very shortly. Uh, this it has the country of origin in Turkey. It's 100% acrylic. This colorway is colorway number 208 and it's called Cavana. It's a hundred, they come in 100 gram balls. I don't want to open this up because it's sealed and I'd like to keep it that way till I work out my next, my next project. Um, there's 134 meters or 147 yards in each skein. Um, it's care instructions are machine wash and lay flat to dry. In Australia here, this retails for $12 AUD a ball from Spotlight, which is one of our big box craft stores, but it doesn't just do yarn, it does all sorts of crafty things. Um, it was a dream to work with. I would use it again and I would probably make a bag with what's left here, I'm thinking. Um, so I'm just going to pop that back over here, over my St. Jude's drink. Now we're just going to do a quick little quick little swatch while I'm continuing to talk about this. Um, I'll just do some chaining. Um, I'm using a 6mm six, a six hook on this one. Apologies for that. That was my phone. Um, at that price point, I've got to be honest, in Australia, I wouldn't pay that for a skein of yarn. That's a lot of money. So yeah, we'll just do, we'll just do 10, do one, and we're just going to do some double crochets. So it, it is, it's a really, it's a pleasure to work with. I really do enjoy it. Um, I'm looking forward to finding another pattern that I want to make the bag out of. Um, like I said, links down below will be to the two tutorials that I've made. The beanie is a... It's tutorial pattern number 577 from Crystal at Bag of Day Crochet and More. It's called the Galaxy Blue Hat. So it has a puff stitch in, in it every few rows. It's, um, I can't try it on, it's too small for me. It's made for a gift for one of my son's um, girlfriends. And I also did the unisex scarf, which is this scarf down here. So let's do a couple more while I'm just tootling along here. I'm a bit of a slow crochet. I have a bit of trouble, you know. So my yarn reviews on this channel are going to be done like this without a face cam as such. Because I don't own two cameras, so I can only do, at this point, I only own my phone, which is what I'm recording off today. I've just got it turned upside down kind of thing. And... With the giveaway, I ended up with six balls, so I've used two, and this is what's left of the third one. Um, so yeah, it does, it, it, just a double crochet, it does really um, work out beautifully. It helps, it's got some of my favourite colours in it. I'm very much a purple girl, you'll see that from the projects that I make. A lot of things tend to be purplish. Um, I do like a little bit of blue. But with this yarn, it is a delight. Um, if the price is more affordable. I would love to have other colourways. Living in Australia, our exchange rate doesn't—it does us a disservice. 
it makes things a lot more expensive than they are in other countries. So I was very grateful to actually win the yarn, so I get to try things that are out of my price point here. So we've just done those two, those two rows of double crochet. Oh, let me get that there we go. And it actually works up quite nicely. It's a little bit fuzzy, it's a little bit, which is that roving part of it, but it is so squishy and soft and lovely and delicious. I cannot get enough of this deliciousness, so I found it great to work with. And it undoes really easy, like I don't find it catches, so frogging is really, really easy on this yarn. So there we go. I think that's almost about it. I'm only going to try and keep these really, really short. Um, I found this is a light, it glides off. I use clover hooks, they're my favourite hook um, that I've discovered. I've only been crocheting for just over 18 months, so I'm still a really newbie crocheter. But I have fallen in love with these crochet hooks. So, thanks for watching my very first yarn review. I'm hoping to do one of these a week. Maybe more depending on how I go and how these are received. I think anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes is a really good time frame. So until my next video, hooroo, bye for now.